Hi guys, in this video we're going to be removing these 42mm bearings and replacing them with these 32mm bearings. What we're going to need to do this is a hammer, Nimbus bearing puller, 14mm spanner and then this is an off cut of a 27.2c post. It's just the perfect size for bashing bearings back on. Um, we're doing this so the customer can run this new reagent frame on his Chris Home wheel. I've already gone ahead and removed the cranks. Um, so if you want to see how I did that, click here um, and see our American cousins removing cranks. But other than that, let's get started. Right, so same again, like in the last video, taking in this bearing puller. Slides over the bearing, and obviously it'll only slide on one way. Wind this down. Take your 40mm spanner. Like so. Done. As you can see the bearing's now off. Take your 32mm bearing. Slide that over there. And then take your little bit of 27.2 seat post, slide that in, taking your hammer, bash it on like so, see. as you can see that bearing is nicely on there, doesn't foul, moves alright, just like that. I'll go ahead and do the other side and we'll get back to you in a minute. Right. I've gone and got the other side fitted and as you can see the new reagent frame is sitting perfectly on that wheel. Um, next we're going to go and refit the cranks. Before we put the cranks back on, let's have a quick look at these spacers. This spacer is the new spacer that comes with the 32mm bearings and this spacer is the spacer I took off before I removed the 42mm bearings. And can you see the, the thickness difference? This is because these spaces are supposed to fit just against the inner race of the bearings. Can you see that? So if I take the new one and drop it onto the wheel, it just pushes on the inner race of the bearing. This is one of the problems that people do is they fit the wrong spaces onto these 32mm bearings. And when you tighten your cranks down, it's pushing on the outer race of the bearing. This can make the bearing run really slowly, really sluggish. And if you really tighten down your cranks, sometimes it can actually split the bearing. So obviously get the right spacer to go on your 32mm bearings and you shouldn't have a problem. Right, so take your spacer, drop that on, take your crank arm, fit that on, then you nice and bold. that down. There you go. All nicely tightened down and the bearing still moves lovely and freely because we've got the right spacer behind the crank. I'll go ahead and do the other side and then we'll fit the frame on. Right and there we go we've got both crank arms fitted. So what we've got is a Chris Home wheel set with a spirit hub which now has 32mm bearings fitted with the correct spaces so they're pushing on the inner race of these bearings and then the cranks fitted so the customer can now run his new reagent frame. Please comment below if you've got any questions um, and hit that subscribe button for more videos to come.